Hi, YouTubers. It's happening next week. This one, so many comments for now. So, so many like uh, kid comments, voice comments, gay comments, annoying comments, spam comments, fat comments. So, this is going to be discussing uh, bad taste comments. Now, what does bad taste mean? It does not mean you actually leave a literal bad taste in your mouth, like you actually ate something like pizza or cheeseburgers or hot dogs and left a bad taste in your mouth. What it actually means is something bad happened to you, either on the internet or in real life or w wherever, and um, it left a bad taste in your mouth. For, so, for example, uh, you may have had a relationship with somebody, a girl or a guy, and left a bad taste in your mouth, or you declared bankruptcy, for example, in law aspect, and left a bad taste in your mouth, so because your credit score was affected. So those are some examples. So basically, bad taste comments are, you know, kind of like troll comments, but they actually linger. So the majority of troll comments I got on YouTube for the life of me are just you know, stupid ass trolls like the big ass cigar. Uh, the majority of troll comments again, like, you know, call me a little bitch, you know, call me a little FAG. You know, they call me fat, they call me ugly. I delete them, I block them, and that's the end of the story. So, but some troll comments have actually kind of lingered. That's a word for it, is lingering. And that's where, you know, they can leave a bad taste in your mouth. You know, people actually saying things like, I should kill myself, which is really bad and actually illegal. So, and it's like, you know, comments like saying, you know, all people who have disabilities act a certain way. If you are autistic, for example, or if you have mental health issues, you are programmed to act a certain way. That kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You know, over the last, you know, couple of years or so, in my life, from like 2014, 2015, 2016, myself, I have had some up and down relationships in my life with uh, people, and they have kind of, you know, lingered, not going to get too into it, not going to say who, because their confidentiality, and also my confidentiality, but, um, you know, bad taste comments definitely linger more than your average troll comments, you know, when someone calls you a bitch, it's like, you know, you delete the comment, you block them, you laugh, you laugh it off, and then you write it down for laughs, so the majority of the time, you know, the majority of comments I have my, you know, weird comments pages right here, you know, don't bother me at all. They're just annoying. They're just stupid, you know. But when people start, you know, getting into your personal life, people start saying things like, you know, you should get your meds adjusted, you know, everybody who has a certain disabilities acts a certain way, everybody who is, you know, a certain disability is, you know, programmed to act a certain way. It's like, it kind of bothers you a little bit. That's another word for it, it's kind of bothers you. It's a troll plus, that's the way I would call the word, kind of like a troll with a plus mark next to it, uh, is like, you know, it's one thing to say, you know, well, you're a little whatever, you're so ugly, dude, you know, you're a little bit anti-sage. It's like, that's fine, you just delete the comment, you block the person, and that's the end of the story. But when people start, you know, saying like, you know, uh, you know, well, everybody who has disabilities acts a certain way and gets like really personal, that's when it's like kind of like troll plus. And I've had some experiences over the last couple of years uh, with people who I consider to be like troll plus, troll plus mark next to it. Uh, and that's definitely, it bothers me a little bit because it does linger. It does leave kind of a bad taste in your mouth, you know, after having certain relationships with people, and I'm sure people on YouTube can relate, you know, people have had some, you know, I'm sure everyone Everyone has had a friendship, they may have gone a certain way, or had a certain experience, and um, it can leave kind of an aftertaste in your mouth, it can linger for a while, as opposed to, you know, some 12-year-old stupid-ass troll like the big ass CR, who just writes a comment and just says, you know what, who cares, you know, because you're going to delete this comment and block the person, so it's like, it, it's more effective, it definitely affects you more, it's like, as opposed to people who just, you know, are idiots, so, and give me your thoughts about it, do you think there are comments on YouTube that really um, affect you more, and comments that are not just your typical run-of-the-mill stupid ass, like the big ass cigar troll, there are comments on YouTube that really, really um, are kind of like, not only really mean, they're comments that kind of bother you, they kind of, kind of bother you, so, anyway, big ass girl, you know, that's bye.